Hi everybody, hope you're keeping well. I'm here to talk to you about some of the things that I like to read. Most of what I tend to read is non-fiction, so true stories, um, and it's mainly linked to either science or nature or both. So for instance, I like to read journals like Nature and New Scientist. I quite like reading stories from doctors and pathologists. But my biggest passion is the natural world. And so the two books that I've chosen to talk to you about are linked in some way to the natural world. So the first book is called Being a Beast and it's written by Charles Foster, who is a naturalist, he studies nature. And he wanted to portray the natural world in a way that didn't look at it from a human perspective and didn't try to turn the animals into, um, into humanistic forms. So he carried out um, an experiment whereby he decided to live as a variety of animals for six weeks. So the book tells the story of his encounters as he experiences life as a badger, an otter, a fox, a deer... Um, and a swallow and so for instance as he's describing his time living as a badger he lives in a hole and he eats earthworms and it's quite an eccentric um, story but it also raises some really interesting ideas around what reality is so if we think about reality as being our perception of the world as our brain interprets it then it's dependent on the sensory input that we get so as humans, you know, we can detect uh, sights and sounds and smells and then our brain will interpret them. And our reality is going to be different to the reality of the person next to us, but even more different um, to that of a different organism. So it was, it was like a heartwarming, um, interesting encounter, but it also raised some scientifically interesting concepts. Um, if you're interested in reality, there is another writer called David Eagleman who's also produced some documentary stories that explores the whole idea of reality um, and some sort of interesting anecdotal representations from nature. Um, sharks, for instance, they can detect electrical fields and um, honeybees can detect magnetic fields. So the, the reality that they experience as, as organisms is very different from, from that that we would experience. So I'd recommend this book as an interesting way of looking at nature um, from a slightly different perspective and also questioning our idea of what reality is. The second book um, is called Penguin Lessons by Tom Mitchell. Um, and this is an, in, an incredible true story that seems too incredible to be a true story. Um, Tom, um, in his mid-twenties, went to South America to teach in a boarding school. And on his way, in, in, in the holiday that he had before he got to the boarding school, he happens upon a penguin that's caught in an oil slick on the beach. And he decides to adopt the penguin, take it home, give it a bath, feed it and the penguin doesn't want to leave Tom's side. There isn't really an alternative for the penguin because of the, the oil spillages on the beach. So Tom decides to smuggle him through customs to his new school and the story tells the adventures that Tom and the penguin have as they coach the boys rugby and teach them swimming um, and he continues to hide in the boarding school. It's, it's a heart, again, a heartwarming story, a, a bit of a real life Paddington the Bear and I would, um, I'd encourage people to read it. I think anybody would, would, would enjoy it. Um, and again, it, it, links, it links nicely to the things that I enjoy. So those are my two little snippets. Um, I hope that you continue to keep well and I would like to see you all soon.